Hey! Slightly different video than usual. Last year I did videos on Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood, Scooby-Doo Meets the Boo Brothers, Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School, and Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. For that 80s trilogy, I even said in the video, these movies really need a new restoration, remaster, anything, but we're just likely not going to get that from Warner Home Video. Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf in particular just really does not look good on DVD. And what do you know? All four of these that I talked about last year have now been restored from the original film elements, except for Reluctant Werewolf and put on Blu-ray, with Reluctant Werewolf still being remastered to the best that it's ever going to look. So, as special as these are, I thought I would go ahead and take a look at the Blu-rays for these. This is what they look like in comparison on Blu-ray. As you can see, the Blu-ray covers retain the same art that the modern DVD and VHS covers did. Although you might be wondering, hey, where is Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood? Actually, it's been included on the Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf Blu-ray as a bonus feature, as an apology for the quality of Reluctant Werewolf but it looks beautiful and amazing and we'll get to that. Like I said in my videos on them, I do think these are the best covers these have ever had, so I am happy to see them be retained. The only flaw, of course, like I said in the video, being that it's got green shirt shaggy and no sign of Scrappy anywhere. Here you can see the back covers. It's a lot more minimal than the original DVD and VHS covers, although for Boo Brothers I have the re-release. And so you do lose some of that art. It's not retained here, but it's really not that big of a deal. And Reluctant Werewolf does have a disclaimer like at the start of the movie on the Blu-ray. Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf was one of two of the Superstars 10 telefilms hanna Bear produced using an early form of digital ink and paint, and was output to a final one-inch videotape master with no film production of any kind. This presentation has been upconverted from its original analog standard definition master to digital high definition, with every effort made to improve the visual quality of the program. And again, I will say it looks better than it's ever looked, better than it ever will look otherwise. It does not look great though, so go in with tempered expectations on this one. Since this is sort of an unboxing, here's what the Blu-rays look like, where again, they're using the exact same art on the front cover, which is appreciated and expected, basically. And then here is the comparison of the spines. It's not as detailed. This is pretty much the same that Warner Archive has been doing with a lot of their Blu-rays for Hamburger stuff. For example, here is Hey There, it's Yogi Bear. And here they are on my Scooby shelf, replacing the DVD copies. If you didn't know, this is part of a whole set of of the 10 films from the Hanna-Barbera Superstars 10. So if you want that, you can get it at a much cheaper price with a complete set of those. I, however, for the purpose of my Scooby shelf, went ahead and got the three individual copies of these and will probably go ahead and go back and get that complete 10 film set later. I just couldn't afford that and these at this current moment. Unfortunately, these do not have any bonus features of the original DVDs. The only bonus feature is Reluctant Werewolf having Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood as that apology. Just so we are transparent, you won't be getting any of the extras that are on the original DVDs. Anyway, here are some screenshots that have been shared on the internet of the actual Blu-ray visual quality so you can see some screenshots of it, such as here is Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers, and it's a really beautiful restoration from the original film elements. I don't think the movies ever looked this good before. The colors are just great. They really pop. Shaggy's red shirt is so vibrant now. You can really appreciate it in full quality. And then Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood, it's just got this beautiful new transfer from the original film elements. Some people say it's got too much dust and could have been cleaned up like Boo Brothers in Ghoul School, but I really like it. I like getting to see the film quality to it. And then just so you have that full warning, here is what Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf looks like on Blu-ray. Again, it really does not look great. Um, That's the best it's ever going to look though, because again, it only exists on that one inch videotape master that they put it on. They did not have film preservation for this. They were not thinking about the future for a lot of Hamper Bear stuff from this era, unfortunately. But no matter what, this is the best it's ever looked, this is the best it ever will look, and that is the same for all four of these. So if you love these four Scooby-Doo movies, uh, definitely pick these up. You can get them typically from a range of like $15 to $22, depending on the day and place you get them. Or you can just pick up the complete 10 film set and you will get the exact same discs as this if you don't care about the cover art for a Scooby shelf like I do. Okay, here I am looking at the actual Blu-ray so you can see I am looking at them, I am seeing the quality. <laughs> and just even on a camera like this, you can see the quality. Very scary, legendary. <laughs> Those very mostly, mostly ghostly. Whoa. I mean, whoa, the colors actually just even like, wow, they really pop. Wow, the detail, the colors. You guys are g g ghost exterminators. 
That's right, Mac. The Boo Brothers. Wow, I'm just like really shocked. This is really great. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to show you for that one. Uh, it just looks really good. And let's look at Ghoul School here. Just immediate, just immediate color pop. Wow. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this new job. Don't be silly, Shaggy. You'll make a great gym teacher, and I'll make a great assistant. It just looks so good. This one looks as good as Blue Brothers did, easily. I really love the colors, the way it pops. I love the it's level of detail and quality. Dog. And he loves root to hide under the collar. Easy. <laughs> Stay back. That's a direct order. Anything you say, Colonel Calloway. Huh? <laughs> like keep dog paddling, Scooby. I'm on my way. Me too. This thing just really pops in color. Oh, it's so beautiful. Good, it's so detailed. You can I'll see all of the back. line art, all of the paint strokes in the background that art, everything. Out of bound. And here is the problem child reluctant werewolf. It does start with this warning here, like on the back. I think that is a smart and wise decision. And immediately as the movie does start here, it's just a huge noticeable step down. Uh, it's like the best quality you're ever going to get on this, but it just does not compare to how good the other two look. It looks pretty bad. This looks pretty bad, I have to say. But as bad as this looks, I also have to say this is the best I've ever seen this look. This looks so, so, so much better than the DVD. And it's not hard to look at, it's not like heavily interlaced, such as the HD upscale of Arabian Nights or a pub named Scooby-Doo that are currently out there. Warner Archive really did do the best that they could with this. This is the best I've ever seen this. It looks very easy to look at. This is the easiest it's ever been to look at. And then of course we do have Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood, which has been restored from the original film elements as a bonus feature on Reluctant Werewolf. And like the other two from the original film elements, as you see film elements right there, this one does look as good as you would hope it would. It looks as good as Scooby-Doo Where Are You in terms of the era, but even better because it's not super heavily digitally noise reduced DNR. People have complained that it's not as clean as Boo Brothers or Ghoul School. I have to say I prefer it this way. I think it looks a lot better when it's this pure. But uh, yeah, there you can very poorly from my camera, but see that it does have a lot of really great quality to it yourself and that I'm looking at it. I'm not, not just like assuming things. You can see that I have looked at it. This is absolutely not sponsored. Warner Brothers does not like me. I had to pay for these on my own. I just want them because I love these movies as much as you probably do. So if you want them, uh, you can go ahead and get them. It's up to you. You don't have to get them. Just be cautious about Reluctant Werewolf. It does have a little bit lesser quality because of how it was made. And th that's pretty much the only little warning. And they have that right on the back cover. So it's all covered. Anyway, I think that's really all there is to say here. I'm just like yapping at this point. So I'll let you go. Bye.